Hey guys, it's Danny with Mavermatic and uh, Myro Control. And what I'm doing here is going to give you a demo of the Myro Bridge with the HDMI switcher. So, what we've got here up in the corner, you can select what kind of matrix switcher you have a 4x2, a 4x4, an 8x8. We're supporting Wirestorm, which is this HDMI matrix switcher and you can see you've got uh, one, two, three, four outputs. So this is output one, output two, output three, output four, uh, and then you have one, two, three, four for the inputs. And then we've got our keypads, you're just your standard Uno keypads. Um, this one is zone one and this is zone two. So we go over here to the little web-based admin page and we'll select that it's a 4x4 four four. and we'll just do a pretty simple uh, setup here that we'll just do um, Rust Sound Source 1 with switcher input 1 and we'll set that up as a Rust Sound controller since we only have one uh, we'll only do the single one and the Rust Sound Zone. So in essence what this basically means is that any source, so let's say I've got source 1, in this case our source 1 is XM radio and that's how you set it up in your Rust Sound system. So we're going to say that source 1, if we had an XM radio, in, in this case that it was connected via HDMI, we'd map that to input, uh, we'd map that to input 1. And you can go down here and, you know, for the sake, we can switch it to input 2 and switch these two around. And if you hit save settings, it actually saves that into the EEPROM and there you got it. So we'll do this little test and the way that it should work is uh, when we go to source 1, which would be XM radio, the switcher on zone 1 should switch to input 2. And uh, on zone two, we should have uh, the same thing happen as well. So that we're just doing our mapping for the HDMI switcher. So we're going to go here, uh, XM radio, and you'll look at zone two down there. When I cycle through, so AM, FM, we just pushed AM, FM, which we switch, so it should go to input 1, which you just did that. Now when we go to input 3, which is media server, it just changed it to input 3. And If I go to the DVD changer, it just switched it to input 4. And then we'll zoom out here a little bit so you can see it, how quickly it actually does it. Now we're in, you can see we're actually in input 5 which we don't have a 5 or a 6. If you had the 8x8, eight eight, you could actually switch that as well. Or map any one of these uh, further ones. You know, you just change the source over here. Um, so now we're going to go back to source input 1, which you should see it switch to number 2, because remember we, we changed that. And then number 2 in, uh, source will be input number 1 on the HDMI. And then we go over to zone 1, we're on AM FM, now we're on media server, it just switched it, we're on DVD changer which is number 4, now 5, 6, we go back to 1, you can see it mapped it to 2, which is XM radio, and then AM FM mapped it to 1. And the other cool thing too is that, let's say someone goes and messes this stuff up, you know, does it manually, and you know they someone powers on the the zone it will automatically correct it for you so it's very cool system it's the HDMI switcher for rust sound via arnet the firmware will be available shortly and uh look for it soon